Hi, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Naomi. If you want to know how I created this natural everyday makeup look, then please keep watching. I'm going to be using my top favourite products that I use on a daily basis. Obviously some products I do like chop and change, but more or less these are the products that I use. So I'm starting off with my brows already done. I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which is just a clear brow gel, but it's literally like super glue for the brows. And I've skipped this bit out because everybody does their brows differently. For my everyday routine, I don't really like a whole lot on my eyes, so I'm gonna move to base and then I'm gonna come back to eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Primer in Protect and just a pea sized amount of this, and you just wanna smooth this all over the face. This has got SPF 30 in, so really good because you need to be protecting your skin. But it's also amazing because it makes your makeup last so much longer. And then I'm going to be using the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer because I find this gives such a nice glow to the skin. It's also got vitamin C in it, so amazing. Just one pump of that and I'm just smoothing that onto the skin. With um, the second primer, I like to use it more in the centre of my face for a little bit of added brightness. On a day to day basis I don't always wear like foundation or tinted moisturiser, sometimes I'll literally just spot conceal. But like my top two favourites are either the Estee Lauder Renutri foundation because it's so glowy. I know it is a little bit expensive but it is really worth the money. I have the shade Shell Beige for N1 and then I also have the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser from NARS in the shade St. Moritz. This is a little bit light for me right now, so I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder. Grabbing my sponge, just gonna spray it with the Laura Mercier Perfecting Water Mist. And I'm gonna kinda of dot the foundation on first. I don't like too much in the center of my face because that's where I find I don't really have a whole lot of problems. And then I'm just gonna press this into the skin. I would say this foundation has about a medium coverage. I prefer something quite light and then just concealing because I don't like too much product on the skin and because my face is a little bit lighter than my neck right now because I obviously wear SPF more on my face than I do on my body it helps to kind of even me out and you can use a brush for this foundation as well I really like the Laura Mercier cheek colour brush because you can buff it into the skin really well but my favourite way to apply it is with a sponge because it gives me the most like glowy look apologies if you can hear the rain I'm sitting right by the window I'm going to go in with the Flawless Fusion Concealer in 2W by Laura Mercier just to um, add a little bit of extra coverage on the skin once again just pouncing that in with a sponge this concealer is great because it lasts a long time on the skin and it doesn't look too heavy but it's got a nice coverage to it and it blends out really easily. They are going to be extending the colour range so if you can't find your colour right now keep an eye out because they're going to be adding 10 more colours because this colour is a little bit light for me but the shade up, the 3W, is a little bit too dark. For under my eyes I don't like a whole lot of coverage. I'm going to be using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in medium. Once again this colour is not perfect for me and I'm just going to be putting it right into the inner corner but this is nice and hydrating because I do have quite dry under eyes even though I use like an eye cream and eye serum and then whatever's left on the brush I just sweep right underneath where it am um, like darker but I don't like a whole lot of product because I find if it creases like it just looks dreadful and that concealer is really nice on the actual like skin as well um, like I said, it doesn't give a whole lot of coverage, but where it's so glowy and so hydrating, it looks, like, lovely. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a cream bronze. Nothing crazy. I'm going to take the Flawless Fusion Concealer in the 4 4N, sorry, and just press that around the outer perimeter of the face just to start warming it up. Sometimes I will just do this, I won't add like a powder or anything on top. And you can go with a brush but I just quite like a sponge again just so I can really press it in. So once I've done that I'm going to add a little bit of a liquid highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Just going to give it a little bit of a shake. I've really been enjoying using this with quite a dense brush. So I'm going to be using the um, Fenty Beauty 120 highlight brush and just stipple and buff that into the skin. It just gives such a gorgeous glow. So I'm going to be using the MAC blush in Telling Glow. This is one of the extra dimension blushes. It gives a really soft like sheen to the skin. So you don't necessarily need to use like a highlighter with it. But it also gives a nice amount of like a peachy corally colour. And I just take a little bit of the excess 
on the tip of my nose just to tie the whole look in together. I'm going to add a little bit of an extra highlighter. This is the Pat McGrath Highlight Palette and I'm going to mix a little bit of the lighter two together on a Morphe M501 brush. And just put that on the highest points of the face. This is such a gorgeous palette and it gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. But definitely go and feel the texture of these highlighters as well because they are beautiful. I'm just going to give my face a spritz with the Hydrating Mist from Laura Mercier. Just to add that glow back to the skin. Hold this quite far away because it's got a powerful mist to it. I'm going to go off camera and use the new Caviar Volume Mascara from Laura Mercier. This is such a beautiful mascara. I'm doing a whole review on the new Caviar Mascara on Island, so I'll leave it linked down below if it's up before this. So I'm now back with a little bit of mascara on and I also tight lined with the Illamasqua Gel Eyeliner in black just to make my eyelashes look a lot fuller and a lot darker. Day to day I don't really like a whole lot of makeup on so just a little bit of mascara on the eyes makes a difference for me. For lips I'm going to use the NARS lip pencil in Hello Bow, however you pronounce it to be honest. Um, it's just like a nice peachy nude. And I'm going to overline my lips slightly. This lip pencil is more or less the same colour as my lips, so it's actually quite nice if you want to overline or anything like that. I'm going to pop on a little bit of a liquid lipstick. This is the Huda Beauty um, Matte Lipstick in Bombshell. But I'm not going to just like fully put it on, I'm just going to kind of pat it into the skin. And this is nice because it's nice and long wearing and it gives a nice bit of colour. And just to top it off so it gives it a little bit of hydration, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty lipstick in, in Supermoon. This is like a peach with a bit of a shimmer. So I'm just going to pop that in the centre. Press it in with my finger again. And this is the complete look. If you liked this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.